hello friends welcome back to code tonight so in today's video guys we will see how you can get the fcm server key for mobile notifications so for getting the fcm key server key you have to search fcm login and there you will see this firebase cloud messaging option there and you have to click on that one so you have to click on this go to console option there and you will see this kind of screen so here we don't have any project so we won't have the server key also so we have to create a new project you can give it the name whatever you want so we will give the name code tonight now you have to check these options and click on continue and continue again so here we will see and accept that so create project so it will take some time to uh, process it so fcm server key we needs for sending the mobile notification mobile notification so you will need that okay so we will also see uh, use of this server key in the code uh, for sending the notification so that also we will see uh, after this So now you will click on the continue so guys now here you will see this android option here but uh, what we have to do is we have to go to project overview and settings icon okay and project settings so in this cloud messaging tab you have to click there so guys when you will come on this screen for the first time you will not see the um, server key here so so you have to click on this option these three dots and then you have to click on this manage api in cloud console and you have to click on enable here so that will enable the cloud messaging for this account which you created So we have to click on agree so once this gets enabled it will uh, you have to go to the previous tab and just reload the tab so guys here now you can see the cloud messaging api enabled and then you have this server key over here so you can copy this server key for your mobile notifications now we will also see the code like how to use this so guys we have this fcm code for sending the notifications uh, for android so we have stored the fcm server key here um, okay and then we have this code so you require the device token where you want to send the notifications so we have this uh, sample uh, device token and then you have to provide the notification whatever you want to send the text message okay and then you need the fcm server key okay so we will pass this server key in the authorization uh, when we are sending the data to the fcm url okay so now we will also see to how to run this so so we will provide you a direct link of the code over here so if that works for you then don't forget to subscribe also
so here we are sending the data to the api and you will see the status result 200 so that means uh, notification has been sent now guys uh, why i didn't replace the url with the new url uh, i mean the key with the new key is so we have device token as per the server key okay so if i replace the server key then this device token will not work with that api key so that's why i didn't replace it and i am using an old one okay but uh, if you are creating a new key then you can use that and generate a device token for that specific server key and you can replace that device token here and that should work okay so if you need the code part then what you can do is you can go to codetonight.com so that is our official website um, we will provide you a direct link also so don't worry about that and here you can search fcm and here you will see the sending fcm mobile notification in sp.net so you can open up that and there you will see the code that we just seen in the video okay so you can also download that and let us know your feedback so thanks for watching guys